Hi, I'm Heather. And I'm Jack. And mom, what are we making today? Today, we are revisiting a recipe that we've already done. Uh, we are making grasshopper cookies or Thin Mint cookies. So that I know what you're probably thinking, Heather, you've already done this recipe, but this one is actually everything is from scratch the first recipe i did i took oreos and i just scraped the cream out of it which my kids love because there was a whole bowl full of cream and they didn't have to eat the cookie part yes but we are ma actually making the cookie itself from scratch this time so jack why are we making these um i have a court of honor on monday and they told me that i need to bring something so i have no choice but for those of you who don't know court of honor is with the boy scout so this is our boy scout and he is bringing um, grasshopper thin mint cookies to his court of honor because he is what? I am getting merit badges in the uh, new rank. So he is getting his merit badges and he's ranking up. So um, Jack didn't start in Cub Scout, so he's going to be a, a scouter. And then he's going to keep moving up from there. So every time he moves up, they have a court of honor and they have kind of a little party for them. And it's really kind of a neat thing. So let's get started on these cookies, Jack. So today, what you will need is, you will need salt, baking powder, vanilla extract, mint extract, sugar, butter and eggs, and cocoa powder and flour. And we will put the recipe in the description down below so that you guys can have this too. But this actually is just the cookie part. We're just right now making the cookie part. Jack is now putting in our butter. Now we have, we are doubling our recipe because there's a whole lot of Boy Scouts. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to cream this butter for a minute. Cream, would that be two? Um, on medium, medium. Our next step is, is we're gonna put our sugar in now and then we're gonna beat it on a medium high speed until it's light and fluffy and it starts to like change color. You're is our eggs. Our vanilla and our peppermint extract. And we're going to beat those together until they're light and fluffy again and um, scrape down the edges of the bowl so everything gets incorporated in real well. We have put our baking powder in our salt in here. We've already uh, uh, sifted together our flour and our cocoa powder. So Jack's gonna take our little whisk and he's gonna whisk all that together real well. All right, so that is all together and now we're going to take it and we're gonna put it in our mixer and we're gonna mix it up. We find it's easier to take, instead of trying to dump it over the KitchenAid mixer, um, to put it in like a cup at a time just like this it just makes it easier to you don't get flour everywhere we are going to mix this now until it's all incorporated you don't want to over mix it because you don't want tough cookies so go ahead jack and turn it on it's on slow 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 all right we got the the mishap all cleaned up and we're going to try this again we're going to turn it on low okay so it doesn't fly everywhere there we go <laughs> okay we have this cookie dough all mixed together now and what we're going to do is we're going to take it and i'm going to get it in a nice ball and then we're going to split it in half and put it into two um, pieces of plastic wrap We're going to make it into kind of a disc shape and then we're going to wrap it up and kind of press it flat with each one of them. We are now going to put these in the refrigerator for an hour and let them chill so that we can roll them out. 
All right, so it's been an hour and we are going to unwrap this and we are gonna roll this out and we're gonna make them super thin. And I floured my surface here and I'm gonna kind of flower the top of this so that my rolling pin doesn't stick. And we're gonna roll them out real thin. I mean, you're probably looking at about a quarter of an inch thick. So that's what we're gonna do now. We are now gonna cut these out. I've got a little cookie cutter here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these and then Jack is gonna put them on my pan for me. Oh yeah, I cut some cookies, yeah. Jack is now gonna put these in a 350 degree oven uh, for about eight minutes. We'll probably check in at about six, but it, it says for eight minutes and we'll see if they're done then. All right, so while our cookies are baking, Jack is going to chop up the big block of chocolate we have here. Now, usually I use um, Wilton's uh, chocolate melts, the little round ones that look like giant chocolate chips. Um, I like those better than just chocolate chips because um, they don't melt in your hands quite as much, like when you're eating the cookie. So he's gonna chop that up into smaller pieces, but we couldn't find the Wilton's ones. So we just brought the, the block of chocolate coating at the grocery store. The cookies are done. Um, for our oven, it took us about uh, 12 minutes instead of eight for them to bake through. Now these are crisp cookies, so you don't they, they don't need to be soft in the middle. You want them crisp. So Jack's gonna take them off the cookie sheet and he's gonna put them on our cooling rack and we're gonna let them cool completely before we start with the process of coating them in the chocolate. Jack is going to put our chocolate in the microwave. Now you can do this over a double boiler if you'd like, but we find that it's just as easy to do in the microwave. And we're gonna start out with one minute and then we're gonna stir it and then we're gonna go in 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. So we're gonna start with a fourth of a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Jack's gonna put that in, stir it up, and then we're gonna taste it to see if it needs more in it. A little dip. Taste it and tell me how it tastes. Is it pepperminty enough? I think it needs a little more. Just put, then put a little more in it. That's good. <laughs> Am I right? We are now going to send our cookies swimming. Hold that. Ooh, I love sending cookies swimming. So we're gonna drop our cookie in, we're gonna flip it around, and then we're gonna pull it out with a fork. You're gonna shake off the excess, just like this, and then we're gonna put it on parchment paper, so look that way it doesn't stick. Look how big that thin mint is. I know. It has mint in the cookie and the chocolate. Yep. That is awesome. All right, so while I finish up, move Gina. Um, while I finish up dunking these cookies, Jack is going to take them and he's gonna put them in our cookie jar. And so these will be ready for his Boy Scout troop tomorrow. So that is our grasshopper slash thin mint cookies that we are making for Jack's Boy Scout troop. So let's give them a try, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. don't tell them that we ate some. These are really good. <laughs> and they're kind of big, too. So make sure you like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below. Um, and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. More updates as we go. Bye.